All right, Shalom. Another GMS on the go. Come back at you in another lesson. But before we get into the lesson, we want to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who taught us 100% truth for the Bible and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and all diligence and in sincerity. And without further ado, man, we're just going to jump right into a lesson. And it's going to uh, center around warning, caution, you know. Part two. Part two, you know, the blowing of the trumpet. That's right. You know. And uh, we're going to start off with Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's right. And Zion represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see, and that's who we're blowing this trumpet to. You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And what is a trumpet? A trumpet is a loud playing instrument. You see, but that's not the trumpet they were blowing. The trumpet they were blowing to Zion, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, is this word. You see, we're giving y'all warning. You see, telling y'all to take heed, you see, to the message that's going out, week in and week out. You see, in all the videos that we're throwing up on YouTube. You see, because, believe it or not, Yahweh Shai is about to bring a whole bunch of plagues and calamities upon the face of the earth. You see, and we're trying to give you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans warning before these prophecies, you know, everything that's written inside this Bible, you know, come to pass and catch you off guard. Mm -hmm. So we're blowing a trumpet to Zion, again, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. That's right. Read for the top again. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. That's right. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And that's what we're doing. We're sounding an alarm. This word in the holy mountain. And that holy mountain, that word holy means separate. You see, so we're sounding this, this this separate word to who? To Israel. You see, because that's who that own that separate mountain consists of. That's who we're on giving warning to. That's who we're blowing the trumpet to. You so called Negroes, Latino and Americans. Mm-hmm. You know? And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Mm -hmm. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Read on. For the day of the Lord cometh. Mm -hmm. For it is nigh at hand. And that's right. So the day of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is. It, 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 so I can read that bottom part again. Mm -hmm. Just that last bottom part. Let all the. Yep. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord cometh, mm -hmm. for it is nigh at hand. Kind of, so that's right. So the day of Yahweh Bashim is coming, and it's nigh at hand. To a what? To what the visions, you know, the prophecies, everything that's written inside this Bible or about to come to pass. You see, to where Yahweh Bashim is about to bring race riots, martial law, you see a famine of food and thirst, you know, Leviathan, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of diseases that Esau got stored up in the CDC that's going to be unleashed against the masses. You know, ultimately, the end all beat all, the 200 ICBM missiles that are going to come from all these different nations. You see, along with the chariots, with the one he calls UFOs, with the laser beam of fire coming down from the bottom of it. You see, so the day of Yahweh Shema Shah is coming to where it's not at hand, to where all these things are going to come to pass. So that's why you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans need to be what? You need to be trembling. You need to be shaking your boots at the fact that the, the men of the Lord, you know, start with our apostles and elders of Great Mills until the men on down are coming out down the highways and byways week in and week out and throwing up videos all over YouTube, giving y'all warning, blowing their trumpet because the day of your high Bashim al Shah is coming and it's not at hand. That's right. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. That's right. They have blown the trumpet. That's right. And we have been blowing the trumpet. You see, for a very, very long time now, since Abba Bibbles was on the scene, mm -hmm. since the late 60s, all the way up into the apostles and elders, elders of Great Millstone stepped on the scene, all the way down to the men like us that you see preaching this word now. Mm -hmm. You see, we've been blowing the trumpet to Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, giving y'all warning, telling y'all to um, take heed for what's coming down the pipeline. That's right. From the top, this is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. They have blown the trumpet even to make already. Right, that's right. You see, we're we, we trying to get you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans ready for what's coming. You see, by what? By blowing the trumpet. You see, by, by, by giving you warning. 
And how do you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans get ready for what's coming? You see, by getting right with your power, Yah by Shema was shy. By coming back to keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. You see, by fearing Yah by Shema was shy. By doing what's right in their eyes. Mm -hmm. That's how you get ready, you see, for, for, for what's coming. By taking heed to the warning that's going out. That's right. It reads, But none go up to the battle, mm -hmm. for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And that's right. So here it is. You know, you got the, 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 the prophets, you know, start when our apostles, elders, great millstone to the men on down, constantly blowing a trumpet week in and week out, trying to get you so called Negroes, Latino, Americans ready for the battle or what's coming. But what? Y'all ain't trying to go to the battle. You see, y'all ain't trying to get right with Yahweh Shem Al Shah. Y'all ain't trying to repent. Y'all ain't trying to turn back sorrowfully. You see, the coming back to fear Yahweh Shem Al Shah. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, which his name means he is or he exists, and Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son. Which his name means he says he delivers. You see, y'all ain't trying to go to that, that that spiritual battle. You see, not that physical battle. Because the, the scriptures tell you that the weapon of warfare is not carnal. You see, so because two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans aren't trying to go to that spiritual battle. Because y'all are not trying to get right with Yahweh Bashim al -Shah, It said what? Uh, read that last part again. Oh, sorry. You good? Mm-hmm. This is Ezekiel. So like he said, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Yeah. Meaning what? Yahweh Bashim al is about to put two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans to death. You see, he's about to um, give y'all judgment from not fearing them, from not um, taking heed to the warning that's been going out for years. Yep. Do we read it again? No, you good. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6. Verse 17. Also, I set watchmen over you. And that's right. And we're the watchmen, you know, the prophets, the teachers, you see, that's over you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And who set us up to be watchmen over you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans? Yahweh Bashim Shah. You see, and what are we watching out for? Your best interest, you see, of the vision, the prophecies that are going to come down the pipeline. You see, we're trying to give you warning. So the, the divisions, you know, the prophecies that are coming down the pipeline won't overtake you. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's like I say, yeah. and it says, I also set watchmen over you. So that means, you know, the Lord, uh, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh being who the word ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that means they're not going to come down from the heavens to come and tell you themselves. That's right. right? That's right, and real quick, hold that. Give me Amy 3 and 7. Just prove that. Mm -hmm. Prove that. This is Amos chapter 3. Shoot, uh, you want to start at 6? Heck yeah, start at 6. Heck yeah, and then yep. go down to 7. Yep. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And that's right, because back in the ancient world, you know, you would have the, um, the watchmen. You know, standing upon the tower, watching out for unfamiliar faces or approaching mm -hmm. enemies coming. And as soon as, as soon as those watchmen seen those unfamiliar faces or the approaching enemies coming, what would they do? They would blow the trumpet. They would sound an alarm to let everybody in the, the you know that town or that city know that something bad was about to happen. That's right. You see, and they would get themselves ready to prepare themselves for what was about to come. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is, 2019. You got the men of the Lord, you know, starting with apostles and others, great millstone to the men on down that Yahweh Bashim Hashem has set up to go out and preach his word, you know, to, pro to proclaim the gospel, the good news to you so called Negroes, Latino Americans. You see, ain't nobody afraid. Yep. You see, two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latino Americans, y'all too busy walking up, and down, walking up and down the street, you know, being proud, thinking that, that your shit don't stink. Excuse my French. Mm -hmm. You see? But what? But what? You know, um, it says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it. And that word evil means, um, so I can read that, so read right, that from the top again. My fault. Right, so I can. No, that's all good. Uh, this is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? So, right. So, here it is. You got the, um, the true, the true watchman coming in the spirit and power of your high body, Shah, blowing that trumpet and ain't none of y'all afraid. Mm -hmm. You see, y'all too busy trying to live y'all best life. Y'all too busy trying to have as much fun as you can here in America. You see, y'all not worried about the um the vision, the mm -hmm. prophecies coming to pass. You see, because y'all don't think y'all gonna be overtaken by it. Y'all don't think on um, the, the um the bad times is gonna prevent y'all from what got what's going on. Going back to um, Amos nine and eight, 
Nine to ten. Yep. And uh, Saki, I forgot. I don't know if you know the scripture. The scripture that says um, um, Israel don't even consider the plagues. I know it's losing my mind well, right now. But yeah, I'm but think. yeah, but it, that's centered around what you you know what you were just saying. Um, you know, you so called you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Y'all don't even when the Lord start bringing these calamities upon y'all, y'all don't even think to consider that that's that's what it is that's going on. Y'all just think that's running the mill stuff, but that's the Lord, you know, uh, you know, bringing judgment. Yeah, yeah, putting his hands on you, right? And it reads, "Shall there be evil in a city, mm -hmm. and the Lord hath not done it?" Right. Should there be evil in a city? Isaiah forty-five and seven. Mm -hmm. Should there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? And that word "evil" means bad times. Ill meaning bad, evil meaning times. So should so should there be bad times in the city, and Yahweh Shemash has not done it? Mm -hmm. You see, so when you see these, these these tornadoes, these floods, these hurricanes, you see um these forest fires, you see um um these um massacre shootings, you name it. Mm -hmm. It's your high boss, your mouth, is bringing the, the bad times, the evil upon the cities, and just to prove that the brothers gonna get a precept. Okay, okay, yeah. This is Isaiah. Oops, sorry. This is Isaiah, chapter forty-five, verse seven. Mm -hmm. And after that, go back to that Amos three and seven. Yep. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. That's right. So Yahabash and Masha, they form the light and they create darkness. Read on. I make peace and create evil. And that's right. Yahabash and Masha, they make peace and they create evil. You see, so a peace is going to come. It's not going to come by the way of you so-called Negroes, Latino and Americans marching up and down the street mm -hmm. saying, hands up, don't shoot. No justice, no peace. You see, and so forth on. You see, peace is going to come. It's going to come by the way of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. You see, so Yahweh Bashim al -Shah, they made peace and they create evil. So going back to Amos 3 and 6, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Yes, the Lord is doing it. Why? Because it just said that the Lord is making peace and he's creating evil. So if the Lord is creating evil, then that means what? He's doing the evil. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al -Shah, do all these things. Not Allah, not Buddha, not the Hindu God of Sheba, not Santa Maria, not um, Baphomet, not Esau, the so-called white man, not any of these other nations. Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the one and only living true power, the only power that's been from the beginning and the only power that's going to be to the end. They do all these things. That's right. Surely. Call and read. Oh, yeah, come on. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing. That's right. So Yahweh Bashim al Shah, they're not going to do nothing. And this is just going back to the brother's point on how he was saying that um, he set a watchman mm -hmm. over these so called Negroes, Latino Americans, and Yahweh Bashim al Shah is not going to get off that throne, you know, to come down here and tell you so called Negroes, Latino Americans anything. So read that from the top again. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing. That's right. So Yahweh Bashim al Shah, they're not going to do nothing. They're not going to get up off their throne. They're not going to come down from the heavens of heavens to tell you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans to get your rat together. You see, they come back to keep the commandments of the Bible to the best of ability. They're not going to do anything. And why is that? Read on. But he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. That's right. Yahweh Bashim Shah, they revealed their secrets, the mysteries, the parables, to understand these scriptures unto who? The servants, the prophets. And that's starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone to the men on down. And that's showing that what? Yahweh Bashim Shah speak through men. That's showing that what? Yahweh Bashim Shah set up people over you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. That's which right. are the watchmen, the prophets. That's right. This is, uh, you know, back, back to, you know, the blowing of the trumpet, back to the warning. This is Isaiah chapter 58. Finish that on that on Jeremiah 6 and 17 off first. Okay, go on. And then get to that. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 17. Also, I set watchmen over you. So that's right. So again, we're the watchmen. You see, the prophets, the teachers, starting with our apostles mm -hmm. and other great millstone to the men on down. That's over you, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And Yahweh Bashim Shah has set up Set us up over you, so called Negroes, Latino Americans. Read on. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Read that again. Hearken 
to the sound of the trumpet. Call it and read it, read it from the top again. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 17. Also, I set watchmen over you, mm -hmm. saying, That's right. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. Right, so we're telling you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans to hearken to listen, to take heed to the sound of a trumpet. Mm -hmm. And we're not telling you to take heed to the actual trumpet. We're telling you to take heed to this word, this message. Because this word is meant for you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Yep. Read on. But they said, we will not hearken. And that's right. And that's what two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans say. And you ain't literally got to say you will not hearken. Mm -hmm. Just by you walking past the men of the Lord week in and week out, not trying to inquire about the truth, not taking heed to the message, not looking at any signs or posters that's on the ground, that's y'all not hearkening. You see, that's 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 y'all not listening. You yeah. see, when you got the men of the Lord constantly throwing up videos all over YouTube, but y'all would rather go watch something else, you know, a twerking video or uh, um, highlights of the basketball on mm -hmm. game or the football game, that's y'all not hearkening. You see, so again, you ain't literally got to say you will not hearken. Just by you not hearkening to the word and the men of the Lord bringing out the word, that's y'all not hearkening. Yep. You see, so the warnings, you know, are constantly going out week in and week out, out on the highways and byways and all over YouTube. But it's up, for, it's up to you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans to take heed to it. That's right. Yeah, we good with that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's right. We're crying aloud to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Giving y'all warning. You see, blowing that trumpet. Telling you that what? Power is coming. Yahweh, Again, the one and only living true power. Mm -hmm. Telling you to repent. Turn back sorrowfully. Come back to fearing Yahweh, Shimashah. And keeping the commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability before it's too late. Before Yahweh, Shimashah brings that judgment, that wrath upon you. That's right. You see, so we're crying aloud to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. And while we're crying aloud, we ain't sparing not. Meaning what? We ain't sparing nobody's feelings. Because you got a lot of people come up to us, you know, why you got to use use so much rude speech? You know, why? Uh, um, can't you convey your message a different way? You know, why you got to be so harsh? Why? Because we come in the spirit power, Yahweh Bashim al yep. You see, Yahweh Bashim al told us what? Uh, uh, um, um, what's that scripture? Salakia, Israel. Um... Go. Um, so like, yeah, I'm trying to think of that scripture. Um, I think it's not that. So like, give me one second, Israel. I'm trying to find a priest real quick. Um, Isaiah so, you, you, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, no, I was just going to say, while well, you're thinking about it, like the brother is saying, man, we're not, uh, even though. You okay, know, yeah, I found, I thought about it. Uh, um, okay. We ought to be the most high rather than men. Oh, yeah. You know what scripture that yeah, is? Yeah, Acts. This is Acts chapter 5. I just want that point. Yeah. This is Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Mm -hmm. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. And that's the point. You see, so we crying aloud to you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, giving y'all warning. And while we giving y'all warning, crying aloud to y'all, we ain't sparing no feelings. Again, because you're going to have a lot of people come up to us, you know, telling us why we got to use so much rude speech, why we got to be so harsh, you know, because we come and thus says the Lord, that says the Holy Bible. You see, we, we, we're, we're, we're going to obey Yahweh Bashim Hashah rather what man say. You see, so Yahweh Bashim Hashah is telling us not to spare nobody's feelings. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're not going to spare nobody's feelings. That's right. That's right. The water, bro. Come on, come on. And oh, from the that's, top. That's it. Oh, you're good. It's like you're yeah. good. Uh -huh. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Mm -hmm. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we're doing. We're lifting our voice like a loud playing. Uh, we're lifting up our voice like a trumpet. And what is a trumpet? A loud playing instrument. You see, we speaking loud when we're out on the highways and byways. We're letting the people hear us. You see, we're not hiding in some corner whispering. You know, talking all soft, all low to where the people can't hear us. We're in the front, in the center, bold like lions. Mm -hmm. You see, putting that bass, that umph in our voice. You see, letting our voice um, be heard. That's right. So we're lifting our voice like a trumpet. And it reads, And show my people, and show my people their transgression, 
in the house of Jacob their sins. And that's right. And that's exactly what we do when we come out on the highways and byways. We come out there to show you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, your transgressions. You see, you know, on how you're on what? On how you're going contrary to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. On how you're sinning. And we know what sin is, according to 1 John 3 and 4, transgression of laws that's commandment to the Bible. Yep. You see, so we're showing you so-called Negro Latin Americans how you're transgression, how you're sinning, how you're going contrary to the scriptures. You that's see, right. and that's us giving you warning. That's right. This is uh, Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. And then after that, mm -hmm. give me Isaiah 61, I think it's 61 and 1 or 61 and 2. Okay, uh, yeah. Um... This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. And this is, a, you want it? Or you want it? Oh, I got it, yeah. That, and, that, and that's again a commandment from uh, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, right? Yahweh being Heavenly Father. Who the word ignorant calls God and how it shall be in, uh, 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 the only begotten son, which the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ. That's another commandment to those of us uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who have uh, subscribed to this word to go out there and preach to the house of Israel, right? Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. That's right. And to speak uh, uh, whose words? The Heavenly Father's words. The words of this 1611 King James Bible. And, uh, and what and what's and what's in these words? The warnings of the calamities and the wrath of the heavenly Father of to those who don't come back and repent of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And th and that's right. And just laying it back off the brother's point, you know, it said speak. It said speak my words, right? Yep. We just went into that Amos three and seven because the scripture said what. On um, surely the Lord will do nothing, yep. but he reveal his secret unto the servant of the prophets. Right. So these are these are the words, Lord. These are his secrets, and he revealed unto us. So what? We're going out on our way and by like the brother said, mm -hmm. and we're speaking the Lord's words because he reveal his secrets unto us. Right. That's right. Exactly. So when we out there on the streets, we're not speaking uh, out of our own out of our own minds. We're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said that was Isaiah. You finished that up? Yeah, kind. Of. Yeah, it was just that verse. Kind. Okay. This is Isaiah, chapter 62. And while he getting that, you know, so while we, when we go mm -hmm. out on the highways and byways, you know, and we speaking the Lord's words, coming, thus says the Lord, thus says the Bible, that's us giving you warning from the Heavenly Father. You see, telling you to get your act together again before your high Masha brings that hammer down on you, brings that wrath, that judgment upon you and put you to death. That's right. This is Isaiah, chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people for the place. Jerusalem represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see, mm -hmm. and again, we're the watchmen that's a pine that's over you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. And what are we watching out for? The visions, the oncoming prophecies. We're watching out for your best interest so that you won't get take, you know, by these on oncoming prophecies about to come. Yep. From the top, Isaiah 62, verse 6. Mm -hmm. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which shall never hold their peace day nor night. That's right. Because the the, 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 um, the true prophets, you know, the true teachers come in the spirit and power of Yahweh who are preaching this word in season, out of season. You see, they're not holding their peace day nor night. Mm -hmm. You see, the real men of the Lord that's coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, you see, the real prophets around the four corners of the earth, they're not holding mm -hmm. their peace day nor night. That's why you see the true prophets on um, constantly throwing up live videos, you know, and, and regular videos all throughout the day and all throughout the night. You see, they're constantly doing um they're constantly throwing up um mm -hmm. going live on the highways and byways during the day. Yep. And they're constantly going live um doing night too. Yep. And throwing up, like I said, and throwing up regular videos throughout the day. Yeah, you try, man. Yeah, and if I can say like, like exactly what the brother's saying, you know, the true, uh, the true uh, followers of Yahweh Shimon Shah, the true prophets of the Lord, you know, you you got brothers on one side of the world when the sun is up preaching, and then when the sun goes down over here, uh, uh, somewhere else on the other side of the world, the brothers is preaching and bringing it out. That's right. And all at the same time, yep. no matter what time of the day it is, this word is being preached out day and night. 
you know, on both sides. So uh, this word has been pushed out, you know, 24-7. And elaborate back what you just said, too. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like the brother just said, on one side of the world, you know, it might be day, you know, and you might have, you know, a brother going, uh, a camp going live. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of the world, it might be night. You might have somebody doing like a sit-down video. Yep. And then when it's on light on this side of the world, those brothers might be out on the highways and byways going live. While on the other side of the world, it might yep. it might be dark where they sitting down doing the sit down videos. Yep. And that's a true man of the Lord not holding their peace day nor night. Yep, that's right. That's right. The water, bro. Kind of. Yep. New spirit. Uh, from the top, Isaiah 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And that's right. And the, and the, and the only um, prophets, the only teachers, you know, that's coming in the spirit of Habashim that's doing that, you know, is, is, you know, is on Great Millstone. Start with our apostles of the Great Millstone to the men on down and anybody coming in the same spirit. You mm -hmm. see, we're the ones, you know, making mention of Habashim Ashai, you see, and, and not holding our peace. So I can read that last part again. Come on, come on. This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. Just the last end? Yeah. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Right. So again, the only ones that's making mention of Yahweh Bashim Awashah, coming in the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Awashah, is starting with our apostles and others, great Muslims, to the men on down. We're the only ones making mention of Yahweh Bashim Awashah. So therefore, what? We're not keeping silent. That's why you constantly see us out there on the highways and byways, week in and week out, not taking no days out. Not taking no days off Preaching this word In season out of season Constantly throwing up videos Day and night Yep See if I can chime yep. in And uh And if I can read Verse 7 yep. To back up the point And to give him No uh, This is Isaiah 62 Verse 7 And to give him No rest mm -hmm. Till he establish Until he make Jerusalem A praise on the earth Right and, and the point I was about to make So uh, All this complaining about You know like Three videos a day Or doing as many videos I mean three videos a week mm -hmm. And doing as many videos As you can man That's not the spirit Of the true prophets of the Lord We're supposed to be Warning um, You so called Negroes Latinos Native Americans and to, and to do what And to give the Lord No rest We're supposed to be Ringing his ears Until Until he He makes due to his promise man We're supposed to be uh, The more videos uh, the more people that we warn And the more people Are the hopeful elect That we wake up The sooner and faster That we get out of this place man. Mm -hmm. So you know We're not, we not supposed to the, men of the, the true men of the Lord You're supposed to see them Every time you get on YouTube A live video Or, or just like the brother said A sit down video uh, An exhortation video Or you know mm -hmm. or, or anything uh, To warn our people Of what's uh, coming down the pipeline mm -hmm. That's right bro Beautiful yeah. That's right You see so we're here to give you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans warning. Mm -hmm. It's your job, you know, to watch these videos, you see, or if you're walking past a camp, you know, to take heed to, to these warnings, you see? because Matter of fact, before you clock, get, mm -hmm. get, get that Ezekiel 3 and 17. Mm -hmm. You see, because if you don't take heed to these warnings, your blood is not going to be on our hand. Yep. That's why we are here. That's why we constantly give you our warning, because we don't want y'all blood on our hand. That's right. This is Ezekiel. Chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And that's right. And again, what does a watchman do? What is a watchman's job? A watchman is to watch out for oncoming danger so they can let the rest of the people know what's coming. You see, so Yahabashim Shah has made us watchmen, you see, to the house of Israel, mm -hmm. which consists of you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Yep. And it reads, Therefore, hear, my, hear the word. At my mouth mm -hmm. And give them warning from me And that's right And how are you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans Going to hear the words At Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah's mouth To receive the mm -hmm. warning You're going to hear You're going to hear these words At Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah's mouth To receive the warning By the prophets The yep. teachers You see because again Yahweh Bashim al Speak through men And that's mm -hmm. how you're going to Receive the warning That's right Like the scripture If you read up Back to what we bring up before Ezekiel 3 verse 4 mm -hmm. Um you know, uh, and uh, go out and r roughly paraphrase and read them. Oh, wait, it's right here. You know, uh, and speak with my words unto them, right? That's what the Lord is saying. So this warning is coming from the Heavenly Father, and He's just using us to bring it forth. That's right, brother. 
And this is uh, verse 18. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18. You wanted that point, right? Keep on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. That's right. So us being prophets, you know, teachers, you know, through the spirit of Yah Bashim Al Shah, if we don't come out on the highways and byways, Week in, week out, in season, out of season, to preach these words to you, so-called Negroes, a lot of Americans. You see, if we're not telling you what's coming down the pipeline, so that you can repent, you know, turn back from your wickedness, to come back to serving your high bashim al and fearing them, then when y'all get caught up in y'all wickedness and y'all get judged by your bashim al when y'all get put to death, y'all blood is gonna be required at our hand. Mm -hmm. You see. Because what? We shouldn't have been out there on the highways and byways, you know, in season and out of season, on whatever day we go out, you see, to tell you so-called Negro Latin Americans to stop indulging in your wickedness, to get your act together with Yah Bashim al -Shah. So when y'all die, y'all blood's going to require that our hand. Yep. Reads on verse 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked... Yeah, if we warn two-thirds of you so-called Negro Latin Americans... Right. And he turned not from his wickedness. And you don't turn from your wickedness and what you're into. Nor from his wicked way. Nor from your wicked way or how you're conducting yourself. He shall die in his iniquity. And you're going to die in your iniquity, your wickedness. But thou has delivered thy soul. Right, but we delivered our soul. Why? Because what? We came in our, we came out down the highways and byways. Yep. We gave you so-called Negroes, Latino, and America the message, the warnings. Yep. But you chose not to take heed to it, and that's on you. You're going to die in your iniquity, but what? We delivered our soul. Lord, we will be some of men. You see, so again, you so-called Negroes, Latino, America, it's your job to take heed to the warning, the message that's going out around the four corners of the earth. You see, because if not, you're going to die in your iniquity. You see, and we don't want y'all blood on our hand. That's, that's why we come out down the highways and byways week in and week out. So take heed to the warning. Take heed to the trumpet being blown. Because time is running out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, man, just, uh, you know, take heed to the warning. You know, the Lord got the prophecy of the Lord. The Lord's willing we be a part of that uh, that number. Uh, he got us out there for a reason. So don't, 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 don't tarry. You know? That's it. All right. Well, we're just going to close out. But before we do, we're going to give all honor all glory and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Next up, double honor to our apostle and elders, great millstone, who rule well and talks 100% truth for the Bible. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and all diligence and the sincerity. And you know, until next time, we say, Shalom. Shalom.